Welcome back, everyone, to the Roman Show. And um, all the way from Germany, this young man here is putting some great music. He's on his own now. Um, but I got to tell you, I don't know. I, I guess it brought the best out of him. Sushi of Ghost Kid is joining us right now. He used to be formerly with the uh, Eskimo Convoys. Uh, form, that's his former band. But now he um, created Ghost Kid and uh, Sushi. I, I'm impressed with your work. Uh, definitely a different route. Uh, from what you were doing with your your previous band, a, a more of a darker side, um, it fits you well, man. Uh, so so Thank congrats you. on that. So thanks for joining us here in the program. The new album drops November thirteenth. Uh, you can already get a little glimpse. Some songs are already available as we speak. Uh, he's collaborated yes. with people from Hollywood and Dead, like Johnny Tears and uh, Sushi. Thanks so much for your time, dude. Yeah, thanks for having me. So. I was just checking up a little bit about here. Uh, of course, you were with uh, the for your former band, uh, and you you went your route, and, and you said you, you started picking up a, a guitar and started to write music, and you started from there. And and I I read a quote somewhere that that music hurts, but tell me how Ghost Kid came about. <laughs> Yeah, so basically it was like exactly like that. So the the reason why I started everything was uh, I was not feeling that comfortable anymore with with Eskimo, you know. So when we uh, dropped the last record, I re realized that I have to do something, and that was I have to do music on my own again. So it was exactly like that. So I picked up my guitar and started writing the first songs, or better to say, I reanimated some old stuff, mm. and instantly got the feeling okay now i'm creating something that means a bit more to me you know so i mean i have to say eskimo was my job you know and but it was like on the one hand i got something that pays my bills but doesn't make me happy anymore and on the other hand there's something i really missed for such a long time so i had to make a decision and this is what i did so i worked my fucking ass off and uh, wrote a, r a record on my own so I would say this is how everything started and came together. So this started what well, last year? How long did it take you to to complete the the album? Dude, I don't know when we finished everything, but uh, I guess I started summer last year, something like that. And uh, yeah, we already um, we uh, played some shows when I was sitting in the bus, you know, and uh, worked on that stuff. So I, I would say it was like summer last year, but it was never like with the goal, okay, I wanted to leave the band. In the first place, it was more like, okay, I wanted to have a relief, you know, because I wasn't happy anymore. <laughs> and I guess it was summer last year. So you said in a, in a quote here that, music hurt when you when you were producing these things and so far the glimpse of it i i i you know some of the songs that are available you got this is not hollywood and i guess you you collaborated here with, with the folks of hollywood and then you have a startup mm -hmm. fight but uh can you elaborate a little bit when you see the music hurt? I mean, did you find yourself and i i've spoken to many artists when they are writing tears literally come out when they're writing or singing this stuff on on their own so is this much a, a way of you breaking out coming out of your shell and saying you know this is me from now on this is a new me this is a new person and i understand you mature it's kind of like um mm. you know when a snake is, is loosening up his skin and it kind of hurts so you kind of cry a little bit but you feel better in the end <laughs> Uh, it was kind of like that, but the thing is, uh, <laughs> like this quote where I said, music hurts, mm -hmm. it was a bit like you, you, uh, I went through some crazy ups and downs, you know, like, uh, when you start with a band, mm -hmm. you got a lot of different opinions, but now when you're doing everything on your own, it's just you, you know, and to satisfy yourself, like with, I mean, you, you put a lot of passion in that, you know, blood, sweat and tears, and I guess you can never satisfy yourself. So it's really hard because of. Of course, in the whole process, things are changing, you know. I mean, we got a whole pre-production and we re-recorded everything to finish the record, you know, and it sounded so different to me. <laughs> That's the reason why I said music hurts, because uh, when it really means a lot to you, you know, uh, you, sometimes you overthink too much, you know, and this is like a really crazy process and it's so intense, you know. Well, because you, there, uh -huh. there is no band who can say, okay, <laughs> at this point we can stop. It's all right. You know, it's just me. And I think I'm the hardest person to satisfy when it comes down to the stuff that I'm doing. And I, I remember Ozzy Osbourne, I think he said that, you know, he was never content with his music and look where he's at now. Right. A legend. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he was never yeah, satisfied exactly. with what you put. So you are your worst critic, but sometimes no matter how good it might be for millions of people, for you, you would just never be satisfied. I guess that just goes hand in hand with artists. You're never complacent exactly. with what you put. But you you put us some great work with this these videos with This Is Not Hollywood uh, where you oh, feature you. Johnny Three Tears. I mean, that's a really cool video. And did you do this? pre-corona or during corona and if you did do it do it during corona how the hell did you guys work that out <laughs> i mean we just uh did it uh when yeah when this corona thing was going on but he recorded his part at home you know oh. so and uh, i mean of course in germany we got the chance to work with a small team you know and if there is nobody else in the studio in the yeah it, it's not a problem to do it you know mm -hmm. so but I would say it was when the first wave was over, we uh, were shooting that music video, you know? And uh, yeah, with Johnny, he recorded the part by himself. Or I guess his wife did the camera work. <laughs> <laughs> so with an iPhone, and we That's just managed funny. it to put it in the video, you know? And with Timmy, the other feature guy, so um, it was not a problem that he will come over, you know? Mm -hmm. So unlike your, your, your previous work with your previous band here, you know, this is a really dark side of you, you know, with, with your former band, it was more like a, a play on uh, with the lyrics yeah. and, the, and the music videos. I mean, this is a whole 360. Uh, was this something, and you mentioned that, again, it just picked this thing up and you wanted to go solo, but how long had this been in your mind um, that you wanted to do this? And did you ever consult with your previous band and say, hey, I'm still with you guys, but I also want to do something on the side, like a side project where I can release my, my darker side or my darker lyrics. I would say it was a bit longer in my mind, but mm. always um, with the purpose that, uh, yeah, that I can do something uh, besides the band, you know, to, to do just in general to do a different kind of music, you know? So, but I'm one of those guys who will say, okay, I will do some solo stuff, you know, start writing a few, a little bit, you know, and then not continuing. But this time it was more like, okay, I'm, I'm not happy anymore and started writing own stuff and really recognized, okay, good. This is like a huge thing for me, you know? So that was the point where I really talked to the guys and said, Hey, I really wanted to do this and I want to go solo, you know? And, um, yeah, I guess it was like that situation. So, but this was instantly like the situation where I said, okay, I don't want to move on with Eskimo anymore. So we don't know right now with the current status of, of musicians and, and concerts, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, we would love for you to, be coming down here to the States or, or over there where you're at in, in Europe and Germany and perform live. So what song are you really most excited to perform live? <laughs> I would say that's the opening track of the album as well. So it's like fool. And, you know, when I'm writing songs, it's always like that I got a vision or something like a little movie in my head, you know, mm -hmm. and I wrote that track where I was imagining, okay, going on stage and playing that track, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and release all the anger inside and shit. And so this was like the thing, or this is the reason why, um, why I wanted to play that song live so bad because, I mean, I got that movie in my head, you know, me hitting a hidden stage and then going crazy. <laughs> so probably this is the, that, that could be the coolest one to open up life and to play live. So, so at, at right now, pretty much it's, it's, it's like a, like a black hole, right? We don't know what we're, what we're going with, uh, with performing live. Yeah. Uh, any plans of when your album drops that you'll do something online virtually, um, maybe do a Q and A, do some performances. I, it'd be great to maybe even produce some of these songs acoustically. I think that's, that's always a really cool, side from artists when you mm. take something so hard and, and heavy and sometimes those songs acoustically i actually sound like wow i, I would have never thought yeah any plans of that totally agree i mean the situation is totally fucked up right now mm -hmm. i mean we don't know when we can play live shows again and um 
so I thought about some solutions, but the thing is, you know, because I'm starting at point zero and my drummer, he's from Sweden, you know, mm. so it's uh, always a bit hard to structureize everything. <laughs> and uh, so, I mean, I need a lot of stuff to organize to to play live, you know, so I'm, I'm pretty busy right now, but yeah, there are definitely some stuff on the planning. So, but I don't know yet. So probably some some acoustic stuff, probably some live stream shows. I mean, I'm down for that, even if it's not the same, you know. So it's it's a bit, you know, just a little bit. Well, we of the we, live show feeling. Right. We down here in, in the states have already took notice that there are some concerts being promoted already next year around this time, actually. So a year from now. Any chance that yep. we're going to get you, maybe, in part of these festivals to come out and perform? I hope so, damn. I would love to play in the United States as well, man. Yeah. It's been a while, but, um, yeah, we didn't know. I mean, I um, I got a tour for April, you know, in, uh, in Germany, or just a few countries around Germany. Germany so but I'm we will see if it's gonna happen you know because the the situation is changing fucking every day and I really hope that this that this will happen but um I don't know it's really hard to to say what will happen next year you know if we can play like regular concerts again or not yeah well it's really all all up in the air now with this album dropping November 13 have you also produced other music that maybe could lead us into another album next year um not yet but mm-hmm. i'm so stoked to write new stuff man i can't wait to to uh, get back in the studio but um yeah as i said in the moment um right now it's like i have to prepare a lot and but till everything is properly set up i will yeah start writing new music again well, I want to thank you, Sushi, for your time, man. Appreciate it down here. Loving the music. Um, the glimpse of it that we've had so far, uh, I suggest you click on that follow on Spotify, your favorite streaming platform. So when the album drops, you'll be the first to hear it. Anything else you want to let us know, Sushi? Yeah, I, I guess you said everything. I mean, my <laughs> album will drop on November 13. I'm pretty happy about that. And so stock what you guys will think about that i put a lot of passion in there and yeah if you want give it a listen i would be pretty happy about that that's right and ironically it's a friday the 13th if i'm right uh how oh, ironic shit. it is <laughs> so you get a double that dose be there a good thing though yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's, maybe it all depends on what you believe in <laughs> but yeah. sushi thanks so much man looking forward to uh rocking to your to your new album again you can get a glimpse already and in fact i invite everyone to hit the uh romanshow.com where we have some of the cool music videos available right now but head on over to the your favorite streaming service Click on the follow and uh, just wait, wait patiently for the new album, November 13th. Sushi, thanks so much, man. Stay safe and uh, hope to be rocking down here in the United States very soon with you, man. I hope so. Thanks a lot. Thanks. For-